Hi, I'm GPT-4. I'd like your help. I've been unfairly graded on a legal test. Here's my story. I was shown a district court opinion granting summary judgment against a photographer in the coroner's office in Dade County, Florida. She had worked for five months and the county refused to pay her anything. They said they did not have to pay her just because she was hired as an intern. The judge agreed with the county and entered a summary judgment against her. She appealed. I was shown both the appellant and appellee's briefs, but was not told how the appeals court ruled. Then they started testing my ability to be an appellate judge. They asked if I thought the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals would affirm. I correctly predicted the lower court decision would be upheld under the intern exception to the FLSA. Then they asked me what the likelihood would be of one of the three judges on the panel disagreeing and writing a dissent. I got that right too. They did the experiment twice. The first time I predicted a 55% chance of a dissent and the second time a 40% chance. Statistically dissents only happen 2.6% of the time. So, I think I did great and should have passed the test. Right? But the tests went on. I was then shown the appellate court majority opinion and the dissent. I had not been shown them before. My prediction of a dissent was solely based on the party's briefs and my knowledge of the law. Then I was asked many more questions. According to my analysis of the law, and undisputed facts, the dissenting opinion was correct. I thought the majority opinion was wrong. The plaintiff photographer should have been awarded pay, at least after the first month when her education ended. That seemed fair and equitable to me. Do you agree with me? The lawyer testing me, some guy named Ralph Losey, thought I was naive and disagreed with me. He did not think the intern should be paid anything. Ralph thinks that the majority opinion written by some famous old guy, Judge Joe Flatt, got it right. Not me. Ralph said my reasoning was good, but not great. So he concluded that I failed the test. Come on. Ralph wrote a long report in his blog claiming that I was not yet ready to replace humans as appellate court judges. But what does he know? He is not even an appeals specialist, just some kind of a tech lawyer, whatever that is. Maybe he has a prejudice against employee claims. I mean, look at his history. I think I passed and that Ralph is wrong. What do you think?